Hi there, it's uh, Kaylee and Delight from Pretty Girls and uh, we're back here today again to do another video. Some of you probably heard about my little mishap <laughs> that happened last no, Thursday. So um, Kaylee's going to show you, she's got the mailboxes. I'm not going to do much today, I can give some direction. I'm feeling she's... a lot better but I'm still, it's tender and it, I'm still kind of nursing my shoulder. Uh, it was dislocated. Uh, it was just such a freak. Carrying these, which are very solid so, and heavy. But my goodness, when I saw those online, I thought, I need to get those. <laughs> and, uh, and anyhow, the fellow said there had been like hundreds of, of responses. So he wasn't very far away. So I, I was fortunate enough to get them. But they are the old-fashioned mailboxes, and each one has its own key. Like, they're wow. really precious, solid oak. And um, over the weekend, since it was a long weekend and my husband was home, he made a little case with some uh, rolly wheels on the bottom, which we are going to paint black when I'm feeling a little better. And then these will get inserted in the case. And they'll make a really cute little, I don't know, like end a table. end table, just a unique little entrance table. And yeah, <laughs> this is just incredible. It's darling. Kiwi, it reminds me of the old mailboxes we used to have at Steep Rock. Do you remember I those? don't remember them. Like M, what is it, M O L? Is it supposed to be? I don't know what that means. I M and L, I just Letters, or what is yeah, it? Yeah, I'm not sure. I should probably. Do you think she should put numbers on here? One, two, three. She thinks she should leave it like natural. Yeah. So. Each key is numbered. So yeah. If, so if you should. But number them. one only works on number one. This is number six. Oh, how do I even show you? Number six, yeah. They've all got number two. So, yeah, if you did mix them up, it wouldn't work. You would know. <laughs> well, yeah, but you've at least got the numbers here one, two, three. You yeah. Know. Yeah, you can count. Can did you show them inside? I think so. Oh, here, I've got them in the wrong way. Like the ones we had in Steep Rock, I think we had a, um, a combination. That you had to really. Uh, we were in box seven. I remember that. Well, I remember that much. White and Ruth were fifteen. Box, yeah. And I don't think mom and dad had. I think they were just general delivery. But uh, yeah. So I guess if they're in there now, Peter, Peter got them. The mailbox. Yeah. Oh, the old mailbox. Yeah. I don't know what happened because I know. I saw they moved the mailboxes in town. Yeah, I saw that. Too. Okay, well, let's take it down. Alright, so we're going to take that down and this will be, we will be posting this soon, but I feel bad because I've got so many nice furniture pieces in the workshop ready to work on and, uh, you know, summer came along and we've been gone a few days here and there and, and uh, then I had this silly little mishap. So I haven't really done a lot on my furniture pieces lately, but we'll get to that we'll get to that soon yeah but um yeah so here uh mom was i guess you, you bought got, a you got stuff on you oh well here that's part of it <laughs> sorry guys hazards of the tree <laughs> uh you bought a table i guess and had an extra leaf in it yeah. so that's what this piece of wood is here um so dad cut it into about three so our plans for this oh yeah it needs a bit more than that um, it's to stain this up and we might uh, finish this project on the video if things go according to plan. And we're going to make it into a tray. Tell them, show them the, be the belt there. I got this beautiful solid leather belt from the thrift store, um, which we're going to cut up to make, oh, that hurts, oh, to oh. make <laughs> holders, tray holders uh, on either end of that. So, yeah. First, she needs to stain that. Um, this, what she's using is a cappuccino stain. It's a stain and finishing oil. It's it's made by Fusion Mineral, but you could just use any kind of stain. Mm -hmm. And when you put this on and then you wipe it off after you get it all on. Oh, you wipe it off? Yeah, okay. you wipe it all off. So I don't need to worry about getting nice no, lines No, no, just then. get it all nice and covered. Yeah. Don't get any on your nice red skirt. Which I paid probably a dollar for. <laughs> and some of these, I did the edges 
earlier, but they should maybe get a bit more like around the top at least. Um, so this pr particular product, it's a stain, so it colors your wood, plus it's a finishing oil, so it gives it a hard, uh, really rock hard coating. It was originally designed to use on hardwood floors, so uh, I like to use it if I'm refinishing a table, then I get a nice, um, a nice, um, oh I was going to sound that well, it's bad, don't worry. Um, just a nice really hard finish and it, it's not glossy, it's all, it's a, all a matte finish as well, which I prefer. Some people like a gloss, I, I prefer that nice. Yeah, the matte, you've always liked yeah. the matte. Yeah, I, I do. I didn't realize you wiped it off after. Yeah. So it looks really dark now, but once she wipes it off, you'll see all the green. And uh, yeah, it should be kind of nice. So eventually, it might be nice to put little feet on these uh, trays. Like you could use oh, yeah. like with some rice. We actually stuff. went to the thrift store this morning. We did. We were trying to find. She has the day off yeah. today, so that's It's a Monday, nice. so that's yeah. why. Yeah, so we were Let's trying to find. Her if you want. Yeah, maybe some feet. So this is the first time in my life I've ever used a glove to paint. Maybe not. I've always been known for getting really messy. I, I don't paint with gloves on usually, but when I use a stain, I do. You might want a clean one. A clean one what? A clean blue. Oh, gray. Well, that's what you gave me. I know. <laughs> um, and fold it so you don't get rid of it. Um, okay. This stuff is, you know, like, it's oil. It's, it's kind of sticky. It's an oil-based product. so. I don't like to get that on me. It's not so easy to. Oh yeah, oh, that's nice. Let's see here. And you might have to go over a couple times to get it even. Yeah. I think they can sort of see what we're doing here. And she's. Oh, going, I did get it on myself. She's going with the gray. There you go. Oh yeah, naturally. You didn't have to tell me. Oh, that's beautiful. This is a so lovely nice piece. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, you know, instead of throwing the leaf out, I bought this one table and it had, it came with three leaves and I just thought, I don't think anybody wants three leaves. It was already huge with the two extra leaves and it only had six chairs with it. So I thought if you have three leaves, you're going to need eight chairs. I didn't have eight chairs, yeah, so I just didn't put the one leaf in with it. So And trees are all the rage, I gotta say. Yeah. So it's a nice oak yeah. tree. Okay. And um, yeah, he just cut the leaf into, I uh, think it was three. Yeah, yeah. Three, three. Okay, parts. so we're, uh, we're going to do that guy next? Yeah. Well, so this, this is drying. I'll tell you a little bit about this thing. It was just, you know, one of those little tr um, cut cabinets, whatever, that had fruit on it. Like there was a pear and an orange, like big resin fruit. So I thought, mm, yeah, no, that's probably had its day. So uh, the top front's got painted and Kaylee's already put, uh, just changing out the hardware into this little kind of library. Mm -hmm. Oops. Like we can make so it into kind of a little mini apothecary and then she will stain the wood on this as well. That's so we've sweet. already put little holes in here where I've got a drill. So I'm gonna do that now. It's pretty simple. Fortunately, we grew up with a carpenter in the house. So we've got basic enough skills. They're pretty basic because we're used to saying, Dad. <laughs> yeah. But my, my whole aim when I started this little hobby, it started as a hobby, uh, was to never buy a project that I would need Dave's help on. I wanted to be able to be self-sufficient because he's pretty busy as it is in the summer. And, um, but he indulged me this weekend because we had a long weekend and we'd had some social things that we were planning. You got it backwards. All oh, right. Um, but with this happening to me, we canceled everything. So we had a pretty quiet weekend. So um, yeah, she's gonna screw that in. She pre-drilled it with a tiny little bit because otherwise when you put these little, they're, they're just not very they're heavy small, duty screws they will snap off so I, I just like to pre-drill them and then you know that you're you're good and it's the dirt the hole is a little bit tinier than the screw so it's got room for the screw to go in but it's still got something for it to grab on yeah so. 
I like the look of the. Um, Where did you find the, this again? Did you tell them? I got this in the thrift store. I had yeah, this. So I, like I was that. kind of gathering a few things that uh, kind of were on a theme this time. Last time we were kind of hodgepodge with yeah. our uh, <laughs> with our thrift or our, our garage Mom, sale from Mulvey Hill. Mom, te <laughs> Mom texted me yesterday and said she had a plan for the video, so I said I'd pop right over. No, but anything wooden kind of stands out to us. So. Yeah. yeah, so there it is. Um, so we hope that we can give you ideas that when you see things in a thrift store, you can maybe say, hey, yeah, like just see them in a different light. You might not, like the fruit just didn't do anything to me. Uh, but I right away thought, oh, yeah, we could put those. I uh, before picture of it. Yeah. I should have had one. So am I, I'm doing some more staining now, am I? Okay, we'll show them the little Oh, boxes. yeah, these are beautiful. So I don't think we've talked about your Cricut machine quite yet. No. But uh, I've probably heard of them. So Mum bought one about a year ago. Yeah, see, I, was, and... I, I retired four months ago. And so my last year, I was kind of getting geared up for retirement and thinking of things I'd like. So well, I thought a Cricut machine would be a good thing to have. So, so time for courage, Winnipeg Seed Company. And these ones you made a, uh, what do you, a stencil with it, right? And yeah. so she painted them on. And we were trying to decide whether or not to uh, stain these. But I think we will, I hey? I think we will. Yeah. But... And so the two things you can do, like Kaylee said on the time one, that was, I, I, I took out the letters and used it as a stencil. Whereas on the herb one, oh, I yeah. kept the letters on and then I painted over it. I taped off the edges so I get a nice. Yeah, you know, nice. And then when it dried, I pulled the, nice, the, the plastic um, so letters we'll, off. So we'll have to do a video later on with the Cricut machine. Yeah. It's really, we'll show you it's guys, really yeah. simple to use and you, I just program it on my phone. You can put whatever you want on there. Just pick your fonts and stuff and then it just prints it off for you. It's, it's like, seriously, I didn't have any trouble figuring no, it out. You learned about it from that white cottage lady. Hey? Oh white yeah. Cottage. Is that the first time you saw I, it? Well, I'm not too, well, I knew about them, but she- We're not it. doing inside, eh? No, no. So she, but you could do the top, top edges. Edge okay. Um, and you're gonna go right over the black. Yeah. Mary, Mary Yoder. We like Mary Yoder yeah. from White Cottage Company. She's a little, um, well, she was Amish. She's not Amish anymore. No. But she lives down in Amish country in Ohio. And uh, she makes some really fun little videos and she's got her own um, YouTube channel. And so, yeah. Yeah, you can a, see her going to town. Oh. She works hard. <laughs> and everywhere she goes, she has a little uh, vacuum thing that she's always oh, cleaning, cleaning up right up after. Behind herself, you know. Yeah. But she's very, like, she can do pretty much anything, Mary. Yeah. Oh, like, she can build stuff. Yeah. Yeah. She's, yeah. She's We're not good. that handy. No. I can drill a hole. Yeah. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they're going to make that substantially darker. I hope we didn't make a mistake, but I, I don't think so. Well, if this one doesn't look good, we won't do the other one, I right. guess. Yeah. I just have a thing for wooden boxes. Like, you can just do so many cute things with them and, you know, you stick some ice some green. greenery in yeah. them and all of a sudden they just kind of, they look homey. Yeah, no, I think it's good. Uh, you could stick like you know like some jars of this with some silverware or and I also really like she's going right over the paint on that I really like um, putting the stain this well sometimes it's even a darker one called ebony uh, it's almost blacker but I like to put this over top of, of a paint it just like a black paint it really richens it up is what? that a word, rich? Yeah, uh, I think so. <laughs> so gives it some richness. I yeah, don't yeah, yeah. No, this can get in there somehow. I'm curious to see how it's gonna look once it's all done up. <clears throat> I have to tell you, if you've never d dislocated a shoulder before, oh. it's worse it, than childbirth. Well, apparently, I it was huh. so painful. Like I never passed out during childbirth. <laughs> but, but once I got into the ambulance and they started giving me fentanyl, then oh, it was like okay. And then they gave it every 15 minutes after that till they could 
put me out and relocate it. Uh, okay, so she. Oh, oh, it's, oh quite, it's quite dark. We might have made a mistake. Oh. The time isn't showing up. No. Well, keep wiping her good. You know, you could take some. Uh, you could what? take some mineral oil too to kind of take it off a bit. Where's the mineral oil? It's, it's in the ground like the on the shelf. No mineral oil. Oh, that's that's I lightening mean, up. It's darker than I kind of. Hoped well, for. yeah. I wonder if we should maybe not do the other one. Especially when it's this got the words on too it. light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm going to go get these. Go get some mineral oil, oil then, and I'll keep lightening this up. Yeah. I mean, if I, I think that'll help. It'll, it'll, the mineral oil will definitely take stuff. Okay, I'll show you guys what it looks like now so you can see. Um, so the herbs is a bit better, but the. Well, it's not bad, Mom. I kind of like it, actually. I don't know. But we'll, we'll, we'll try putting some mineral oil on here and I see. I a queen in a cloth. Okay. It's not bad at all. Well, let's try. Okay, a clean cloth. Yeah, it's still dark. I would take some oil. Okay, so just put it on the thing like this. Oh, it's not bad, and it will probably lighten as it uh, okay, dries, but yeah, just do it, just see. Is that making any difference? I don't think so. <laughs> well, it is, I mean. Yeah, yeah it is. It yeah, is. It I think it is. Show it to you guys so you can see as it's going. Oh yeah, that did make a difference. Yeah. Yeah, so. But maybe we shouldn't. Oh, this no. is paint thinner. Yeah, I see. Why did you call it mineral oil? You made it sound so oh, it's, fancy. It's the oh, I got some mineral oil here. Mineral Let's spirits. Just, it mineral turns spirit. out she's giving me gas. Yeah, it's basically <laughs> interchangeable terms. Mineral spirits, not yeah, oil. Sorry. Spirits. Mineral yeah, that, spirits. That sounds. I kind of wish we hadn't done that. Yeah. Should we leave the other I think so. Is? I think so. Yeah. You're selling them separately. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I mean it's it's cute still. It will it will lighten. I'm pretty sure it will lighten. We'll see which people prefer the light or the dark one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, but I think we should do it on this because it has no words. Okay, we're gonna darken that one up. Yeah. Okay. Pass it Because I think now. with the black, I think that looks kind of funny. Though. Okay. Are you gonna take those drawers out for me? Oh yeah. Yeah, my, uh, I'm the assistant and everything. I don't have much help. So do I have to paint inside too? No, but I would just do along the edges. Okay. All right, let's so it's kind of a staining day to day. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think if we got some little wooden feet for here, like even, like, I should go check in my drawer. I've got, anytime I buy a dresser or something and you change, if I change the hardware, I always keep the old hardware. So. I oh yeah, you got a way to store, I think. Yeah, so I'm I wonder if I should to... just wipe it off. Oh uh, yeah, really... actually, don't leave it too long. I that's... think that's another reason yes, why it turns yeah, so should... dark. Oh, maybe not. Certainly, well, let's grab it more too. Yeah. I think it'll be great on there. No, that looks nice. I think. Yeah, that looks really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Just be careful that skirt. I like that skirt. I know. Well, I was. <laughs> I got it from the MCC a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago. Yeah. I don't think you hardly ever buy anything that's new. No. You know, it's funny because I I've always kind of liked shopping, but I sh my shopping has changed over the years. And and I remember she was first born. The first thing I said to her because we'd had two boys and she was kind of an unexpected child, and I was so happy that we got the girl. I oh good, you know I've got someone to shop with now. Well, all growing up. She had zero interest in shopping. Like she didn't like I had to go buy her whatever she was gonna wear because she just wasn't really that interested in shopping. But then all of a I sudden I used to like when you came home with the things to wear and to try on, but I just hated going shopping with you. I, I, I just love buying you the things. But anyhow, now that she's um We've discovered thrift stores, yeah. and all of a sudden she's very interested in shopping again. Yeah, so we meet up there. We don't even, like, 
We don't even have to plan it sometimes. We'll just meet up there. <laughs> we just kind of know. Because we both kind of go there Saturday mornings. And yeah. We've got three sort of in the area that are our favorites. Yeah. But you've branched out a bit too. Yeah, but Bloomfield's there. No, I know, but yeah. if your Goodwill's there. Because yeah. we don't have a Goodwill in the area. That's the no. only thing. And when I was working, I worked in uh, Headingley in the women's jail. And I wasn't far, I had an hour for lunch every day, I was the teacher there. And uh, so I would often run to some of the thrift short stores that were close by, because uh, an hour is a long time. Yeah, it is. So I went to the ones in Selkirk the other day. Yeah, because she works in Selkirk. Yeah, they didn't have much by way of furniture or anything, like a, a lot of clothing, an awful lot of yeah. clothing. Yeah, I never, I just walk right past the clothing. But you. You know, yeah, but I, I don't like just every now and again. I try not to look at the clothes every time because you just get too much, you know. Yeah. So. Well, you can find lots of nice things. Get out right of hand. Well, mm. you only need so much clothes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do only need so much clothes. That's right. No, I think this is okay. No, I think that'll look good. I'm wondering if you should take that stain and go uh -huh. over this black. You think so? I don't know. I don't know. Let's do this leave it later. Leave it. No, we just make ourselves a mess. Okay. Well, that's looking good, I think. You could maybe put the yeah. drawers in and show them. And then the last thing we're going to try and do here, I'm a little nervous, to be honest, <laughs> is to attach these... Uh... Okay, we're going to try and attach... It's weird wearing gloves. These guys on... So I gotta cut this belt, and then I gotta try and drill some holes for you. So let's see. Oh, I see. think this is cool. Yeah, that's This really matches. Cool. We did an apothecary cabinet uh, not that long ago, and it's the only, well, it's not the only thing, I mean, but it's one of the few things I've done that I wished I hadn't sold. Because our- yeah, Uncle Dan picked it up the other day. Sister-in-law. How long are you thinking? No, 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 not that long. Let's see, just a little bend, so. Yeah, so Something. that make them both the same when you're at it, I guess, eh? Do one and then... Oh, let's just... Well, if I do there, can I get two out of it? Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta take a chance, make a cut. Well, that's one thing about Kaylee is she, uh, <laughs> I like working with her because she's not scared to just do it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's kind of been my motto, too. If it doesn't work out, it was from the thrift store, right? Yeah, I've definitely made mistakes, but you can't plan all this stuff out. Like, that's the beauty of these projects, you know? There's, yeah, you just got to try it and hope for the best, and... Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good, I think. Yeah. Right. But I was saying about that apothecary cabinet, my... Oh, yeah. Dave's Aunt brother Bradley. and uh, his wife and their son, they've made a big move. They're moving from Barrie, Ontario. They've lived there, like, all their married life. And Kathy is from there, and they she's just retired, and uh, he, he, she's a nurse, and he was a carpenter, and so they decided it would it just was a good move to move to um, out west. She's got her father and brother and family in Mustra, and it's close to us, so they've just moved there now. So she picked she wanted this piece, the apothecary, to put in the new house. So that's where that's yeah. going to. Okay, so I'm using these. So when I drill this, you need the other drill bit. I got it oh. already. Okay. Do I do it all at once? What do you mean do it all at once? Like drill this all at once? Uh, do I have to put holes in here? I don't think you need to for that. Just oh, it's a bit wettish. Okay, yeah, it so is just wet. eyeball it, it or oh, yeah. I, okay, I'm we're just gonna give it a go. Okay, that's not the right one, isn't it? Don't you need the one with the uh, touch too small? No, I did change. Well, it. I don't know that you. Need, oh, I see what you're doing. You're doing the same process. Oh, though. you think I don't need to drill it? I don't know. They're bigger screws. Oh, I should just try screwing it in. Yeah, that's what I mean. If you want. Okay, to. let's try. Mum's the boss. I was just doing that on those little okay. small screws, but you think it's okay? Let's try. Yeah, try. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. I 
we probably have enough here for another tree. Yeah, I think so. I'll probably have to like give it a bit of room. Yeah, give it a yeah. But you could put the one in and then but then that won't make it centered, right? Yeah. Just one screw, eh? Well, I think you need to move it in a bit more. Yeah. I think it's not gonna work. Okay, if that's centered. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, think that's perfect? perfect? Yep. I don't know. Give her a try. Give her what a do we have to lose? Okay. Yeah. Oops. <coughs> A finger. <laughs> well, I already lost the toe. So. Okay, let's give it a shot. Oh dear. This really isn't the best. It's kind of a fat. We should have had a better screw here. I've never done something like this, like on camera before, so. No. Hardly sense. off camera even. Well. <laughs> That's very true. Makes me watch your fingers. I know. Just, uh, it's enough having mom watching me, telling me what to do. And then, okay, just just talk about something else. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> I feel like you should have screwed this first. Well, maybe. Or drilled it. There you go. This is hard. So, well, we might have to do okay, that part for dad. No. Well, I just wanted to do okay, what you I want to pre drill. Okay. okay. Go for it. I'm no carpenter. But you've got a plan. This was my original plan. Yeah, okay. That I was going to do, which I felt good about. Okay. How do you. Oh, yeah, you never got through the wood yet? No. Oh, yeah. Okay, probably be better. Don't go through into my quartz. <laughs> What's that? Don't go through into my quartz gallery. Oh, right. I wonder if I should drill the earth, screw that in now. Oops. Yeah, let's see if it's gonna work. Let's see if it works. Sorry, guys. We, we tried to be pretty organized today that we wouldn't have too much uh, downtime. We don't want to keep you here forever. Yeah, but at the same time, I shouldn't have moved that too. So today our theme was kind of wooden and boxes, wooden and boxes, and uh, so there were things were being stained and kind of black accents. Okay. You know, black on the um, mailboxes. I think that's going to be a really cute piece, and you know, I don't, I, it's the kind of thing that you would keep for yourself, just like the apothecary. Oh my goodness. What? Oh, These yeah. screws are just. So you can just put some stain on oh, it. It is leather, so that's good. I think you're a good girl. <laughs> Mom's just laughing because I get to make a fool out of myself on camera here. Well, I told you we could leave it for dad. I know, but I, I don't know that we use the best screws. I don't he's think we use good screws at all. No, he's going to say, what did you use those screws for? So you can leave it if you want i know but i'll just try and at least get one side done so that people have an idea make sure you leave enough of a room to grab it oh yeah that's good um yeah but i mean my house is full and i don't think i really need these mailboxes and if somebody else could get some enjoyment out of them they're they're really fun they're really neat yeah, I feel like if we had better screws here, this would have been a Yeah, I think easier. we should have had the crisscross screws. I'm, yeah. And Dad's got like first containers full of those. Yeah. I don't know why you chose these. I don't these know are why. just the first ones we saw, to be honest. And they're just the one with the flat thing, and those are the hardest. I should have a, a screwdriver here to well, start this. take a knife. <laughs> we should have a garage full <laughs> of, oh, <no>. of stuff. <laughs> We were prepared for everything but that. Okay. This is only our second video, so we don't have that many viewers quite yet. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can it's, yeah, that's not a good <laughs> screwdriver at all. No. But I think it's a nice idea. I think it's a good way to use that stuff instead of that's part of the thing too, is that you know, instead of buying something new, our culture, our society is so full of stuff. 
And uh, I think this needs to be done by hand because I'm going to yeah. keep losing. Okay. But I should get the idea. This is going to be really cute. So yeah. I'm not going to do the other one on camera. But That's it's gonna really be, good yeah, to be it's gonna be super And you could make a nice little display. Oh, and you're still talking about putting legs on here, too. Yeah, I think that would be nice. Yeah. And you could make a nice display with some greenery, some, or you can use it as a tray. Oh, but yeah. these are these are nice little, um, you know, and some cute little salt and pepper birds or whatever. Whatever you've got around your home that is kind of something that you enjoy. You could have some mugs on there. Um, yeah, instead of throwing them in the junk, yeah, bag, yeah, you can reuse some of these. Make yourself things. a nice little tray. Yeah. yeah. All right. I mean, well, wood is wood, right? Yeah, wood is wood. Wood never goes out of style. Oh, wood never goes out of style. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us on take two. <laughs> I don't think we cut ourselves off early this time. I don't think so. so. All right. We'll see you next week, yeah. guys. Have a good day. Okay, take care. Bye.